Roberto, just gone out to the uh, GUKPT Grand Final. Can you talk us through your exit hand? Uh, yeah, um, I came back today, played um, pretty tight. Didn't, I didn't want to make too many moves because everyone knows I'm, it can be very aggressive. So I thought I'll sit back for a little bit, try and get a bit of respect on the table. Um, I was doing fine, picked up like an extra seven, to seven eight thousand, got my stack up to about fifty five thousand, I think. And um, I got switched tables, table broke. Um, went onto the table, Rob Keston, he had like about hundred sixty thousand. He raised um, one off the button, uh, my big blind, and I looked down at had jack nine of hearts. So I thought I'd defend my blind. A flat called and the flop came, two hearts, uh, ace queen rag. Um, he led out, and I thought, oh, okay. So I, I stalled for a bit and decided that I was going to um, raise. And because he had so many chips, I thought I'll put the lot in, and you know, if, if he's got the ace, I think he still called me. If he hasn't, I win the pot. Um, but he had a set of queens, so I was in big trouble. I eventually hit the flush, but the board pad, so um, that's how I went out. So I, I hit my flush draw, and uh, for the board pad with the six, so six of hearts, and give him the full house. So. That was the end. Such as uh, poker. What, what did you think of the numbers here over the weekend? Um, yeah, um, again, you know, I thought um, good tournament. Some great players went through to day, to day two. I thought it was a um, really good standard. Players went through. Nice to see some really good players, you know, um, and so the standard was really high. Structure was really good. I thought there was lots of play in the tournament. Again, um, yeah, these tournaments are really impressing me every time. So um, I think we're going to get we'll get bigger and bigger, and uh, we'll have a lot more runners next year in the final. I think. What's your plans for the rest of the season, Roberto? Are you going to Bristol next weekend? Yeah, there's a lot of people asking me. Um, I think I might try and get to the final, um, the final, the main event. I think it's on Thursday, Friday. Um, but I'm off to Prague straight after, so um, I'll see if it's a bit with the family back home because um, we've got the business and everything. So. I'll ask them, see what they think, and um, I might just go to Prague, or I might play Bristol and Prague. I've definitely booked for Prague, so I'm playing day two, so that's good. Um, so we go from there then and see what happens. It looks like I'll play most of the EPTs, um, so we'll, see, we'll go from there. How, how did you find this season, I mean, to, to play? I mean, obviously buy-ins are so expensive these days. I mean, how did you find the season as a whole? Yeah, um, I've always, I, I, when I first, I've only been playing three years now, and um, lucky for me, I had a good start. I was winning quite a lot when I first started. i um, done well in these Duke BTs, um, but I was reinvesting my money into tournaments all the time because I had such a love for the game. So, like, I was never really making a profit in the end. Just kept putting all my winnings back into the game. You know, Ten thousand buy in Monte Carlo here, there, EPT. It would just disappeared as soon as you win it, you know. Um, and lucky enough for me, you now this last two months, um, I've been doing a lot with Full Tilt for the past year. I think it is been putting to me a lot of TV tournaments and looking after me and two months ago finally they signed me up and gave me a, a, a deal for the whole year so I'm happy with that because I'm getting to play now all the major events um, so I, I you know as you say it's just so tough you know for, even when I was winning it was it was so expensive and I don't think I could have carried on buying in you know if I didn't get the results because I wasn't getting the results you know as much as I was when I first started I was getting you know, a lot of outdraws and, and, and that comes with poker so um, I'm one of the lucky ones who's ended up getting a nice deal and, and I'm getting put into these tournaments now. So, you know, for people who are out there, I think just stick at it. If you believe in your game, stick at it. And, you know, if you know you're a good player and, and you're getting a few results, keep plug, plugging away and, you know, maybe something will, you'll, you'll get your break, you know, and some will come for you. Do you think, um, Roberto, do, you know, are, are your opponents becoming more familiar with your own particular style of play, your sort of brash, direct style? Yeah, definitely, you know. Um, well, what I've noticed since I did start playing three years ago, um, the game just is impressing me more and more. There's a lot of good players, a lot of good, and a lot of youngsters seem to have a, a big edge because they, they they seem to be playing better than you know a lot of the older players, you know, and um, they, they impress me every time. So, you know, I always think I got an edge, but there's a lot of players come up and come in, and and the game is getting harder and harder. So, which is all good for the game, you know, and it goes to show that you know how big poker has come now in this country so um, it, it, it is like I said earlier on you know, I started off quite tight because you know I have got an aggressive image and I do play aggressive I sort of like get hot and cold at times when I start playing aggressive and I, so I have to tighten up sometimes and it depends who's on the table and, and how many chips I got you know if I got a lot of chips maybe I will play much more aggressive and 
sometimes you you can't be stupid the fact you've got to sit back because if you're naive enough just keep pushing and pushing you end up getting caught so yeah you know um, definitely people you know the better players will re-raise me a lot of the time so I've got to be careful yeah I definitely agree with you yeah.